Today, we're taking an in-depth look at NVIDIA's upcoming Rubin architecture, exploring its innovations for AI and data center computing. Rubin is NVIDIA's next-generation GPU microarchitecture, set to succeed Blackwell in the data center and AI space. It's part of the Vera Rubin system, pairing Rubin GPUs with a new Vera CPU for high-scale AI and HPC workloads. NVIDIA anticipates Rubin's mass production and deployment in late 2025 or early 2026, marking a broad platform overhaul. Compared to Blackwell, Rubin introduces several major changes, starting with its process, node, and packaging. Rubin will be fabricated on TSMC's 3-nanometer node, a significant advancement from Blackwell's 4-nanometer generation. It also features a substantial memory upgrade, adopting HBM4 memory for higher bandwidth. One figure indicates 13 terabytes per second of HBM4 bandwidth, a considerable leap from the prior generation's 8 terabytes per second. For the first time, NVIDIA is embracing a chiplet, or multi-die, approach with a 4 by reticle layout. This design allows for a larger die area, enabling more compute power within a single unit. Rubin is explicitly part of a broader platform, integrating GPUs, custom CPUs, interconnects, and photonics. The architecture targets rack scale systems with hundreds of GPUs and multi-petabytes per second memory and interconnect bandwidth. For instance, one specification mentions 576 GPUs in a rack drawing approximately 600 kilowatts of power. Rubin is not merely a faster GPU. It represents a new era of compute platform optimized for AI and HPC workloads at hyperscale. NVIDIA's shift to a chiplet design for Rubin means the GPU will be built from multiple smaller dies stitched together. This approach enhances yield, scalability, and allows for mixing process nodes. The 4 by reticle design signifies an effective die area four times larger than prior designs, enabling significantly more compute. Rubin's advanced memory subsystem moves to HBM4 memory stacks, providing much higher memory bandwidth than capacity. With 13 terabytes per second of HBM4 bandwidth and 288 gigabytes of memory capacity per GPU, throughput gain is crucial for large AI models. Rubin's system supports high-speed interconnects between GPUs, CPUs, and racks, with the NVLink family evolving to NVLink 6 of 7. The design envisions per-rack interconnect bandwidth in hundreds of terabytes per second or even petabytes per second in the future. This allows GPUs to efficiently cooperate at a large scale, with lower latency and higher throughput. Rubin is part of a unified platform, where the custom Vera CPU works tightly with Rubin GPUs, ensuring cache coherency and high bandwidth links. The architecture also incorporates silicon photonics processors for optical interconnects at rack or data center scale, along with NVLink switches. It aims to accelerate end-to-end -end AI and science workflows, from simulation to data processing and inference. The Rubin architecture is specifically tuned for generative AI, agentic AI, large language models, and HPC workloads. For example, one article states that Rubin will deliver 1.2 exaflops FP8 training in a specific configuration. Rubin is aimed squarely at data center, cloud, and supercomputer markets, not just gaming GPUs. Volume production for Rubin is expected to commence in late 2025 or early 2026. A rack scale system, the NVL144, based on Rubin and Vera, is anticipated around the second half of 2026. A further Rubin Ultra version is planned for 2027, with architectures like Feynman scheduled for 2028 and beyond. Rubin's architecture promises to enable the next generation of AI models, with larger token counts, expanded context windows, and stronger inference and training throughput. The co-design of GPU and CPU, alongside the emphasis on simulation and AI workflows, means supercomputers built on Rubin could blur the line between classical HPC and AI computing. The adoption of chiplets by NVIDIA with Rubin demonstrates a maturity in design technique, optimizing manufacturing and enabling dense compute modules. Rubin sets a high bar for competitors who will need to match not just raw flops, but also memory bandwidth, interconnect scale, and system architecture. However, challenges remain. 
including the significant power and cooling demands of rack systems, which can exceed 600 kilowatts. High performance also necessitates robust software and ecosystem maturity to fully harness its capabilities. Manufacturing complexity with three nanometer nodes, chiplet designs, and large dyes could lead to yield issues, increased costs, or deployment delays. The gap between announcement and volume deployment also means midterm competitors might capture some workloads. In summary, NVIDIA's Rubin architecture represents a major generational leap in GPU and hyperscale compute design. By combining advanced process technology, high bandwidth memory, chiplet multi-die design, immense interconnect bandwidth, and platform level integration, it is tailored for the next era of AI. The roadmap positions NVIDIA for the next decade of data center innovation, signaling massive compute bricks and racks that blur the line between supercomputing and AI centers. The challenge will be in effectively leveraging this hardware through robust software, efficient cooling, and managing costs, ensuring the ecosystem matches the hardware capability.